2.1 billion liters of milk are consumed every day all over the world. That's enough to fill up 813 Olympic-sized swimming pools. With such large amounts of milk being consumed, it is vital for milk producers to ensure that all milk is safe for human consumption. This is done through the process of pasteurization. Milk is pasteurized in many ways. In this video, we will take a closer look at the types of pasteurization that are commonly used today. So in this video, we will define pasteurization and its purpose. We will differentiate between three different types of pasteurization methods, batch or VAT, HTSD and UHT. And we will also be discussing the nutritional implications of pasteurization on milk. Pasteurization. So what is pasteurization? Pasteurization is defined as using heat as a method to kill microorganisms present in fluid to ensure food safety for human consumption. There are many different types of pasteurization. However, the three that will be discussed in this presentation are batch or vat, HTSD, and UHD. Let's take a closer look at these methods. So who developed pasteurization? First, let's discuss the history of pasteurization. Pasteurization was developed by Louis Pasteur, a French chemist turned microbiologist who proved the existence of microbes in air. He performed many experiments, including pasteurization, which was derived from Louis Pasteur's last name. Our story begins with the germ theory of fermentation. Louis Pasteur was not the first one to notice that microorganisms cause spoilage, but he was the first person to address this as a problem, and his theory was the beginning to the solution of many problems relating to spoilage. Louis Pasteur noticed that when wine was not open and kept closed, the wine did not spoil. However, when wine was exposed to the air, the wine began to degrade and spoil. The swan neck flask experiment shown in the image on the right supported both pasteurization and the germ theory. Why is pasteurization of milk important? Pasteurization is a crucial step in milk production for several reasons. First, it helps to eliminate pathogenic bacteria making milk safe for human consumption. Pathogens such as E. coli, salmonella and listeria are killed to prevent foodborne illnesses in consumers. Because of this, pasteurization increases the safety of milk for consumption. Pasteurization increases the shelf life and quality of milk by destroying spoilage microorganisms and enzymes that contribute to reduction of milk quality over time. Now let's discuss the first type of pasteurization, the VAT or batch pasteurization. This is most commonly done in vats. This is a slow pasteurization process that requires the milk to be heated to a temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit and then held at that temperature for 30 minutes. Hence this pasteurization method is not widely used. However, some farmers and small milk processors still use this process for small batches around the world. The second type of pasteurization is HTSD pasteurization. HTSD stands for higher temperature, short time, which can also be known as flash pasteurization. In this process, the milk is heated to 161 degrees Fahrenheit and held at the temperature for 15 seconds before it is blast chilled to kill microorganisms. 
Hence, this pasteurization method is being used in commercial dairy processing plants for faster, efficient processing. Because of the speed of this pasteurization method, it is used in most milk production facilities. The majority of milk found in grocery stores is HDST pasteurized. The third type of pasteurization is UHT pasteurization. UHT stands for Ultra High Temperature Pasteurization, which means that milk is heated to 280 to 302 degrees Fahrenheit for 1 to 2 seconds. UHT is more shelf stable than other types of pasteurization. It is actually another type of flash pasteurization. This temperature and time combination are much more lethal to bacteria, killing virtually all potential pathogens that are unsafe for human consumption. The milk is then packaged in sterile, hematically sealed airtight containers and can be stored without refrigeration for up to 90 days. After opening, Spoilage times for UHT products are similar to those of conventionally pasteurized products. UHT is most often used for creams and specialty dairy products, however, is becoming more popular for milk. It is important to note that foods can become contaminated even after they have been pasteurized. For example, all pasteurized foods must be refrigerated. If milk is not kept refrigerated, it could become contaminated. This is why it is important to store milk at a safe temperature. Milk should be refrigerated at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below. If stored above 40 degrees Fahrenheit, milk will begin to develop signs of spoilage, including sour odor, off flavor, and curdled consistency. Nutritional Benefits of Pasteurization It is important to note that pasteurization does not significantly alter the nutritional qualities of milk. Studies have shown that the important nutrients in milk are not affected by heat. When it comes to vitamins and minerals, pasteurized milk is an excellent source of calcium, riboflavin, vitamin A and phosphorus as well as a good source of thiamine and vitamin B12. Important minerals like calcium and phosphorus are both absorbed from pasteurized milk just as well as from raw milk. Pasteurized milk is also fortified with vitamin D, which is essential for healthy bones, unlike raw milk which only contains a small amount of this important vitamin. One vitamin that's levels are affected by pasteurization is riboflavin or vitamin B2. While the quantity is decreased by pasteurization, pasteurized milk is an important dietary source of this vitamin. What about protein content? Well, research has shown that the high nutritive value of milk protein is not decreased through pasteurization. Levels of casein, the main protein present in milk, are not altered in any way through pasteurization. In fact, proteins like lactalbumin and lactoglobulin become more digestible after pasteurization. Finally, the natural sugar in milk and milk's fat content are not altered by pasteurization as well. Pasteurization is vital in milk production and ensure safe consumption of milk by destroying levels of pathogens that are unsafe for human consumption. Hence, the safest way to enjoy the health benefits of milk is through the process of pasteurization.